Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scooter Buyo playing vanilla Minecraft Snapshot 15W38B of the upcoming release of 1.9 PC edition. Uh, and as you may have guessed, this video is about item elevators. Uh, so in um, in one of the recent snapshots, uh, specifically Snapshot 15W38A, um, this item elevator design by Test 137029 uh, was broken. Um, it used to be that items uh, uh, that entered this water stream uh, would uh, go over to the side and then zip along and uh, they would uh, enter the side of these, uh, these fence posts here. Uh, and uh, when it reached that second fence post all the way in there, uh, that would cause it to fly up. Um, and, and that relied on kind of uh, some glitchy behavior with respect to the collision box of fence posts. Well, uh, that behavior was fixed as of uh, the uh, Snapshot 15W38A, uh, uh, which broke all of these uh, popularly used item elevators. Uh, now, um, <laughs> the ability for items to fly up through solid blocks uh, was eliminated in that snapshot. Uh, so no item elevators of any kind really worked um, unless they were uh, dropper or piston based. Um, uh, the ability for items to go uh, to go up through solid blocks was re-added in snapshot 15W38B. Uh, and so uh, this item elevator design can be fixed, uh, but not with fence posts. So um, I have uh, some items here uh, that I'm going to use to, uh, to create a fix for this. Let me grab my quartz block back here uh, and get rid of these fence posts. All right, so uh, my conditions for fixing this uh, are that my fix has to be as flat as possible and it can't go below the level of this, um, uh, this water stream here because it's already at bedrock uh, for me, so I can't go any lower than this. Um, I also don't want to be piping the items through any hoppers or droppers down here. Uh, and, um, uh, and I want to make minimal changes to this setup. So I don't want to actually have to change a whole bunch of stuff, uh, just uh, some few additions. So it's got to be small, can't go any lower, no, ho no additional hoppers or droppers, and, um, uh, and it has to be able to be adapted to this current setup. So. Um, <clears throat> all right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down a few extra blocks here uh, just as a, as a base for some stuff. Um, this is going to require redstone, um, but the redstone is um, for mechanism components. It's, uh, I, I'm not actually going to be running items through anything. Uh, it's just to control the flow of items in this water stream here. Uh, so um, I'm going to be using uh, trapdoors. And in there used to be a fence post here. I want to place a trapdoor uh, so that the hinge side is on the side that the items flow. So items go around here, so they're going to be flowing against the side. I want to make sure that the trapdoor uh, goes against that side. All right, let me put the glass blocks back. So the only thing that I've done so far uh, is I've removed the fence posts and I've added a trapdoor over there. Uh, now, that trapdoor is going to I, items are uh, that trapdoor is going to close on items, and items are going to flow up through the trapdoor. Then, uh, but in order to make sure that they don't spit out here, I've got to close this hole, and I'm going to close it with a um, uh, by pushing this glass block that's already here. Uh, this one right here, I'm going to push it with a piston. Let me uh, put a sticky piston down. Uh, so this piston is going to push this glass block, uh, this glass block right here, uh, to close this opening when this trap door closes. That will prevent items from going kind of back out towards the water stream. Uh, both of these guys are going to have to be activated at the same time. Uh, I'm going to just do that with a dot of redstone. Um, this, uh, when this redstone is act uh, is uh, powered, it will power both the piston and the trap door. So. Uh, the trap door should be open by default. There we go. Uh, now, in order to power this redstone dust, um, I'm going to put a uh, uh, power this block here, and I'm going to lay down some repeaters. I'm putting all of these on uh, four ticks. 
Okay. Now, the, the specific timing of this can be adjusted to your own uses. I'm, I'm actually going to be running a continuous redstone clock uh, in order to make this uh, piston and this trap door uh, continuously operate. Um, uh, but uh, there are some al alternatives here. Now, one of the problems with this particular setup is that if items are coming down this water stream, uh, and they're passing over this block of ice here right as this piston fires, um, what will happen is the block of uh, the glass block that this piston is pushing will kind of squeeze that item and will spit out just kind of randomly all over the place. Uh, so I, I want to make sure that there are no items flowing down the stream the time that this piston is pushing that glass block. Uh, so I'm going to place another trap door uh, right here. Okay, just like that. Uh, also against uh, opening the same way that trap door is uh, against the uh, um, against the side where the items flow. And then I'm going to put another uh, uh, another water source block in order to continue the water stream here. So uh, that's all good. Uh, and now I need to power these uh, trap doors and this piston alternately. Uh, I'm going to power this trap door right here with another dot of redstone. And I'm going to lay down a block, and I've got um, a 12 tick delay uh, on these repeaters over here, and so I'm going to make a 12 tick clock over here. Just a, a torch repeater loop. Okay, as soon as I add a, a torch here, um, that will start the clock, and we'll see these trap doors alternately open and close, and the piston will be uh, in sync, pushing the glass block as this trap door opens. There we go. Okay, now uh, the the big problem with this is that it's noisy. I, I have my volume turned down, so uh, um, the noise isn't really affecting us that much. Uh, but it is really, really noisy because of the trap doors and the piston. Um, now, this particular uh, item elevator is very far away from where I would hear any of this stuff, so I'm not too worried about it, but not the best solution in all cases. Just uh, just keep that in mind if you do uh, uh, if you opt for this. Um, but uh, now I can toss something in the water stream. It's going to go through. Maybe it will get blocked by that uh, trap door. Goes in, and now it's just going to float up just like normal. I added a little collection point up here. There we go. Uh, so it can handle um, uh, one item, of course. Um, let me throw in a bunch of items. All right. Let's uh, throw in half of that stack. There we go. There's 32. And they're alternately going through. And the hopper's still uh, pushing them through, but uh, we should see all 32 in there eventually. There we go. All right, they all made it up. And now uh, items of different types. Not really a problem. Everything's still making it up. Okay, so everything made it back up. So, uh, so this fix is lossless. Um, uh, there's no uh, there's no items that are uh, that are getting lost anywhere. It is, however, as I mentioned, noisy. Um, but um, it, it doesn't uh, rely on piping items through any hoppers or droppers, uh, and the um, and all the redstone that's making these mechanisms go to, to control the flow of items uh, is um, uh, is all flat. So uh, doesn't require a whole lot of space. Um, can be put down at bedrock uh, because I don't have to go any lower than uh, the water stream itself. So. Uh, that's it then for this video. Um, please let me know if you have any questions or suggestions in the comments, and thank you for watching.